As you all know, my 240 is actually starting to look like a car again. But I've been having this dilemma whether or not I want to use that quarter panel that I have. The brand new OEM quarter panel. And the reason I didn't want to use it is because a mold can definitely be made out of that specific quarter panel and many more quarter panels can be made. So instead, I'm going to go visit a friend that has a quarter panel on his parts car and he said he only wanted some reds for it. If you guys have seen some of my older videos, you'll know who that is. <laughs> I've already driven about an hour and a half and we're almost there. And we're back to see Ryan once again. This thing's got rust. You know, you've seen it before, just way down here. Cool. But the quarters are good on both sides. Sick. So take them both. And then, hey, if anyone needs this, please take it. <laughs> if you want to cut it just so that I can actually just scrap the chassis because there's nothing left of it. Like, yeah, I can floors are it. rusted through, but it's just like cut wherever you see fit and then we just leave it aside, whoever needs it. Cool. So, Thanks a lot, Ryan. No problem. But first, we pay for it. You thirsty, Ryan? <laughs> I had to, man. You're hooking me up again. See? One for the left quarter and one for the right quarter. Yeah, Take there you both. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, I'm going to start chopping it up. It is a sad sight to see an S13 that has fallen. But luckily, most of the parts and pieces on this car have been put to good use. I am gonna cut the roof off, but I'm gonna leave it here. So if you guys need a roof, make sure you contact Ryan, because he'll have this perfect slick top. It looks like the floors are rotted out. The frame rail's been patched. It honestly wasn't that bad of a car, but he got this shell in the trade for some parts. And there's no VIN and no title, which basically means it was a parts car. This is how he got the car. So the previous owner of this car kept his VIN plate. So yeah, this car technically does not exist. But they're so light. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. The ritual before cutting it up. You guys ever ollie on a 240? <laughs> I had been dying to feel control. You would want me to. You would want me to. You would want me to. This car is pretty rusty. Let's make a new hole right here. <laughs> Jesus. So I'm planning to cut the wheel well area first because that's going to be the hardest to do. Might as well knock out the hardest thing first and then we'll chop off the B pillar, C pillar, and the back. That looks like a good starting point. I just noticed this little plant growing here. That's nuts. Just let that be a reminder that hope can still grow no matter what. No matter what your circumstance, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the condition, still hope. So just never give up. Just like the shirt I'm wearing. And if you want one for yourself, got the link in the description. If not, no worries. Well, we got most of it chopped up from the bottom. I think all that's left is the pillars. If I give it a nice little tug, the whole thing moves. Crazy. I'm gonna be generous and cut it super high up. I don't think I'll need that much, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially while the opportunity is here. Well, unfortunately the saws all gave out. It doesn't hold the blade in there anymore. It just kind of strips out. 
<sighs> so that kind of is a bummer. It even stripped out the whole top. Like it even cut through this. <laughs> Good thing I brought the grinder. So hopefully this can grind us the rest of the way through. <laughs> Perfecto. Now, here's the question. Will this fit in the work truck? <laughs> this is probably going to be cutting it really close. If anything, I'll have to trim more off the B pillar. But I don't know. It's going to be a close one. There's only one way to find out. So let's get her lined up. This is honestly a lot lighter than I thought. And there's still like a lot of frame and extra stuff on here as well it's not too heavy let's see how a 240 quarter looks on the integra oh yeah slammed <laughs> oh man that's crazy well we got to finish cutting this thing up luckily ryan and his girlfriend had another sawzall this one's cordless super clutch for this quarter panel i'm going to start with the b pillar and the c pillar so then I can cut the eight pillars off and then just get the roof out of the way because there's not a lot of room to work with a trailer being there and I don't want to like bounce my head on it or you never know. Oh, I didn't notice that this was dented. Dang. With the way 240s are looking these days, this is probably going to be like a mint quarter soon enough. <laughs> there's not many of these left around, especially parts shells. Oh, it's just so sad to see it. Poor car. Nice. And it just started raining. I think my next plan of attack is gonna be cutting this thing in half. Then I'll be able to drag this out of the way a little easier. Oh, it's so sad to see. <laughs> well, at least this was already the damage side. <laughs> I don't think that did any additional damage, but all right, got it off. So at first glance, it doesn't look too bad. But then you see this subframe stud is snapped. This one's gone. That one's seized. And that one doesn't look too bad, but look at the rot around it. And the whole rear frame rail. That's how you know it's really bad. But sad to see another one go down like this. But at least the parts off of it will be put to good use. And now it's raining. If you guys remember, this is the exact car that I got the core support off of. Luckily, it's already welded onto my car, but yeah, this was the one. Who knew I'd be taking the quarter panels too? <laughs> also, a super crazy coincidence, Ryan ended up with one of my wheels. I cracked this at a drift event at US Air, and it still has the same tire on it too. And it still holds air as well, which is insane. It's been passed around through a couple people, I guess, and somehow he ended up with it right next to the 240. Life's crazy. What are the chances of that? <laughs> now we gotta load up. Hopefully this works. Thinking I'm gonna put it in this door and then like fish it around. Luckily I've already taken out my interior, so yeah, just kinda move stuff around real quick. Oh, actually, this is looking pretty promising. Yeah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> it's so close. Well, we're gonna have to take the door off. All right, we took off the center console too. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> Oh, 
No way. No freaking way. It's in. It's actually in the car. It clears. That's insane. Things that shouldn't fit inside your Integra but do. Part 69. Does that not look absolutely insane in there? Okay, let's probably wrap the moving blanket around this. That way it doesn't fall over during transport and damage any interior. Luckily we have no battle scars from this. Or do we? Oh, close. Close. Yeah, yeah, we need to wrap this thing up. <laughs> hey, I wanted to give you a new shirt too. Oh, you got shirts now? We got your sticker on the, uh... Dude, hell yeah. When did you make these? This one's brand new. I'm actually wearing it. All right. <laughs> Raw. Yeah. I was like, we have your sticker on the. Hey. I need to get more of these. Hey, I have a couple more. I can give you some. Oh, dude, awesome! I want to put one on the vet. <laughs> It'd be really funny. That would be funny. <laughs> it would. It would be like a 240 on the vet. Yeah, that would be perfect. I don't remember this Corvette the last time I was here. The biggest change in my life is I am now an LS fanboy, I guess. Oh man. I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't knock it, man. It's, it's pretty fun. It's freaking wild. 99 vet with an overboard LS1 to a 410. God knows what that means. I'm still new to everything. <laughs> you know, full header back and an intake. And like, it's really minor. It's just all internal that's been like built, I guess. But it has a uh, 6.0 truck heads. No, the uh, the tune was a freaking nightmare. He was talking to me about it. At first, everything he did to it was like counter correct or like over correct everything. So everything he was doing to the car huh. was just not responding. So then he was diagnosing like, oh, why is it not? Because this car was running like 50% lean. And yeah. he was like, all right, let's give it 50% more. Yeah. It was still asking another 25%. So this thing was just physically dumping gas. <laughs> like it was running hotter than anything. And it ended up being both O2 two sensors were smoked. Really? But, you know, it makes sense. The thing was right. dumping loads of gas. He like, we swapped in two, two sensors and then it was finally starting to read out. But like the t previous dude who was tuning it was just like not caring at all about the fuel map. And he just set like the fuel pressures across the board 36, which is like what they're rated for, but it's not how you're supposed to do it. I see. You know, he's kind of like, oh, that's what they're rated for. <laughs> across the board, just like run. Yeah, just run defaults. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, I'm not the biggest knowledgeable person about tuning and everything, but my tuner was like, this is one of the worst he's seeing. <laughs> but hey, he, 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 saved was, it. he told me, he was like, <laughs> if you ran it, I don't know. He's like, I don't know how you ran it. I don't know how anyone ran it. He said, if you ran that how, with that tune, it would have hydro locked, or you would have blown the whole side of the block. <laughs> like he was like very <laughs> dead set on like, there's no way this thing ran the six events. Six events. Six. The dude who I bought. Oh him, my gosh. Six on that, like, so. You got lucky then. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> like we were even doing uh, keeping track of times of right. like people running like even GLD. And because I saw some people doing that, like tire street guys down at Clutch Kickers are doing it, mm -hmm. where every time someone's around the, you know, you basically clock like inner clip one, inner clip two, zone one, zone two, stuff like that. And so I had Kayla start timing them, and we were like two or three seconds faster than like the next fastest car there. Really? And I was like, granted, you know, that varies on, you know, style and right. line. Mm -hmm. I was having a lot of fun with it. I mean, we're on 285s in the rear. We had them aired down to 30 some PSI. Oh, wow. <laughs> All was, the traction. It was not liking that. It was way, way, way too grippy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just cleaned the floor. <laughs> this thing is fun, man. <laughs> well, cool, man. Thanks for helping me out today. Anytime, man. And you have a YouTube channel too, right? Yeah, it's just my name, Ryan Cost. Uh, we post typically uh, drift events. We plan on in the winter doing more on the car maintenance and uh, like what we do behind the scenes. I use it more as a reference to 
use to like review my runs and practice line and like judge how I'm doing. And then at the end of the season, I can see the progress throughout the season. But uh, yeah, towards next year, we plan on with some of the help of some of the sponsors that we have coming on board, doing more events, doing more behind the scenes, doing just more of everything. Hell yeah, man. Can't wait to see the car. Hopefully it's at closer. Yeah, I mean, Fingers I hope crossed. so. If not, I mean, we're gonna have to drive next year together. Oh my God, dude, it'll be so fun. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I mean, ooh. We got, we got our hands to pick. We got an LS, we got you know, the stock Z, or we might have a supercharged Z. We'll see where. <laughs> we also got 240, but it's staying pretty much stock. Yeah, but... keep that one minty. <laughs> uh, you know what would be really fun with that car, though? Mm. I had an idea where it was like, we, we keep a stockish stance, but just you know get some like super stiff coils <laughs> to where- It looks it, high. <laughs> it would, yeah, it looks stock, but yeah, it would still slide pretty well. <laughs> that would be so fun. Cause then you could have like, you know, like Logan's car, which is like, complete you know slammed really like has that just the typical drift car look versus because like i mean i've met people where they see that car and they see that car and they're like those are not the same car it's right. like no they are that used to be that yeah <laughs> but or that used to be that but um it'd be so cool to just have like a video of like a stockish looking s13 mm -hmm. and then just having something that's like super drift car look going together that would be so sick. maybe man maybe that would be sick you never know i'll let you know how the winter goes sounds good man all right Peace. <laughs> well, we have a little over an hour drive home, but yeah, got my nice passenger to keep me company. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of funny. It is the passenger side quarter, so it kind of works. <laughs> Alrighty, we are home. All right, let's get this door off of here. There you will stay until I'm able to put you on. Now it always makes me sad to cut up a car, but this is proving my point of why I don't want to use that new quarter panel that I have, because then people wouldn't have to cut up parts shells to save their cars. Because, you know, damage is gonna happen. And if there's no available parts, that's the next solution. So it is sad, but just know that in the future, the plan is to save more quarter panels so that less cars get cut. That's the overall goal. And that's the whole reason this happened. Man, this car has yet to let me down. Somehow been able to fit the craziest stuff in this car. <laughs> nice. Hopefully someday I can paint this thing and make it look nice. I think it's putting enough work to earn its keep. Got that earthquake paint job. Think about it, my 240 has just danced. It did. <laughs> <laughs>